Hello, welcome back to our series on matrix. In this video, we will learn to calculate the inverse of a 2 cross 2 matrix using elementary operations. Now, we are given a matrix A which is of this form. It is a 2 cross 2 matrix, right? And an invertible matrix has to be a square matrix and this is a square matrix, so inverse should exist, right? So, the property that we use to find inverse using elementary operation is that A is equal to the identity matrix multiplied by A is equal to A itself. Hence, we can write given matrix as this 1, 2, 3 and 7 is equal to identity matrix of 2 cross 2 which is 1, 0, 0, 1 multiplied by A itself. Right? Now, all that we need to do is if I convert the left hand side matrix to an identity matrix and all operations that I do on this matrix I repeat on the identity matrix on the right hand side. What I will get would be I will get a identity matrix on the left hand side because I'm going to do operations to make it identity and on the right hand side because this is an inverse there will be an inverse times A because an identity is equal to A inverse A. Right? This is the property we are going to use to find uh, inverse using an elementary operation. Right Now, first step, if I have to convert this into an identity matrix, I need to make the non-zero elements as zero. Okay, The first operation we will be doing is to make the non-zero into zero, which is R2 is equal to the diagonal elements as 1. That's when you will get a identity matrix. So, first elementary operation that we will do is, so we just need to look at the given matrix and find out what elementary operations will yield the desired result. So, the first operation I am going to do is R2 becomes R2 minus 2 times R1, R2 minus 2 times R1, right? So, which will give us R1 remains the same, R2 becomes R2 minus 2 times R1. So, 2 minus 2 times R1, which is this becomes 0, right? Because 2 minus 2 becomes 0, and this will become 7 minus 2 times 3 which is 6 becomes 1. Since it is an equation, we have to do the same operation on the other side on this matrix, right? So, what we get here is 1 and 0 remain same. This becomes, right, R2 minus 2 R2 which is minus 2 and this remains same, okay? And it is A. Now, let's do the next step. The next step would be, now we got a 0 here, we got 1's, if we make this 0, then we got an identity matrix on this side, which is a, uh, our idea, right? So, we want to create an identity matrix, so that this becomes A inverse and this is the given matrix A. Now, how do we do it? It is very straightforward, R1 becomes R1 minus 3 times of R2. Why? Because this is anyway 0, so this is not going to change and this is 3 and now we want to make it 0. We multiply this by 3 and subtract, we will get a 0 here, which will convert this into an identity matrix. Alright, so let's do that. So, R1 becomes R1 minus 3 R, R2, which is 1 minus 3 times 0 is 1, 1 minus 3 minus 3 times 1, which is 0, and then R2 remains the same. This becomes an identity matrix. And what happens on the right hand side? The right hand side becomes R1 minus 3 R2. So, this becomes 7. You get it? Why? Because 1 minus 2 into minus 3 becomes plus 6. 1 plus 6 is 7. All right. Similarly, here this becomes 0 minus 3. All right. And the R2 elements remains the same because we did the elementary operation only on one row. 
right now what does this mean if you compare this equation with this equation we see that this matrix 7 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to a inverse so a inverse is equal to 7 minus 3 minus 2 and 1 and this is how you find the inverse using elementary operations we'll see a few more examples in the subsequent videos thank you keep watching math smart subscribe to math smart and learn more maths